I'm Nora Hamilton. Welcome to my fabulous cover shoot. I absolutely loved the hair and makeup today. It's not often that I have my hair and makeup done when I'm filming, so it feels like it was a real treat. Uh, it was beachy waves, kind of a, a natural look, like I've just stepped off the beach, which is often where I am. I loved working with the Fabulous Team today. It was back in 2011 that I did my first ever Fabulous cover shoot, which feels like a lifetime ago. So I've absolutely loved being back today and getting to experience this. I'm often abroad and uh, I love being abroad and I would love to be able to recreate the, the look that I've been sort of styled with today. I just am not sure that looks good as the people that have styled me. <laughs> when I've been filming A Place in the Sun, from a, a, a look, a hair and styling makeup point of view, I have had a few disasters. I've ended up with like, when I've been filming A Place in the Sun, I have had a few hair and makeup disasters. Um, often I've had red lipstick on my teeth and not known about it and then of course the show gets repeated year upon year upon year so uh, that's happened i have often had messy hair at the back of my head um, marilyn moments where my skirt's blown up and i might have shown a bit too much um, so yeah there have been a few hair and makeup and styling disasters funnily enough i bought my very own place in the sun three weeks ago I um, have, after 13, 14 years of being part of the show, I have finally taken the plunge and bought a renovation project, which I'm a big fan of, in Mallorca. This year I ran the London Marathon for Well Child, and I actually still can't believe I ran the London Marathon because I was the kind of kid at school that did whatever I could to get out of running anything over 400 metres. I've been asking my mum to write me a sick note. Um, so the fact that I actually managed 26.2 miles was, um, was absolutely, you know, I, I feel quite proud of myself for that. Um, it was very emotional running, and I had a number of friends supporting me on the sidelines, which I'm so grateful for. And I think at mile 18, when I managed to be at base my with my children, um, who both said to me, Mummy, we're so proud of you, just keep going. That literally pushed me over the edge. <laughs> Do you know, I don't think you can ever make any plans in the way your life is gonna turn out. I very much kind of things happen for a reason and you know, you just have to go with whatever's happening. Um, and I would say that I, I'm, I, I love my life, like, I'm really happy, I'm really grateful for where I am in my life right now. Um, it hasn't been plain sailing, but whatever is plain sailing. Um, it's all about the highs and lows and how you cope with the lows. And um, I would just say, never compare yourself to anyone else. That's the, the biggest, like the biggest thing never to do. Um, I try not to compare you know, what other people are doing in my line of business. Um, or even like my friends, I'm so lucky. I've got an incredibly supportive group of friends who I've known lots of them since I was a kid. And we're all there for each other. We've got each other's backs. And I think it's just so important to just lift, lift each other up um, and celebrate other people's successes. I love a challenge. I'm always up for a challenge. I've been learning to fly actually for the, the last three years. And um, I'm very much open to whatever comes my way, so watch this space, eh? Who knows what's gonna happen? I cannot wait for you all to see my fabulous cover.